10-0 New Jersey back here at Lomity and time now for our Kellogg's building blocks and here's Bobby Valentine. Hi, today we're with Connor Daly from Fairfield, Connecticut Little League, one of the best catchers in this uh, tournament here. We're going to show the proper technique of blocking the ball that's in front of him when it's in the dirt. He wants to put his glove in between his legs, keep the ball out in front of him. Connor's going to show it right now as the ball goes in the dirt and he blocks it perfectly. We just keep it out in front so we then pick it up, throwing the runner out, keeping him from advancing. And then we hear a perfect, oh. this is the perfect technique that Bobby was just talking about by Braden Barnett. He puts that glove, why does he put it in between? So the ball doesn't scoop between his legs. And then he also leans forward with his body because it hits off his chest and it causes the ball, once it bounces up in his chest, to go straight down to the ground. Perfect technique. <laughs> That's as good as we've seen in this tournament. Bradley Sumner going after the first pitch of Anthony DeSegli who came in to replace Kevin Blum who has had just a great game all around both offensively and on the mound. Right side. Oh, good work. DeSegli gets over there. New Jersey up 10 nothing in the day belonging to Kevin Blum at the plate and on the mound. Five innings pitch, two hits, three triples. <laughs> now Blum with two triples in a game, tying a Little League World Series record, three triples in the tournament, tying a Little League World Series record. There he is out there in center field. He's got some wheels too, huh? Uh, we saw that. That's, I think that's why he has so many triples. And he doesn't hesitate. There's his father, Coach Blum. Carl, their first base coach. One of the things I know I was coached by my father, my brother, my sisters as well. Then we're like, okay, at the practice field, call me coach. It's not dad, <laughs> it's coach. Popped up, Marinaccio, that's the second out. New Jersey try to get out of here with a win. This is the first of five games on the day from Williamsport. Two o'clock Eastern time from Volunteer here on ESPN2. It'll be Canada and Panama. So that one minutes away. And that is an elimination game. Oh. Ball one to Braden Barnett. Braden Barnett. This is not his first trip to Williamsport. Part of the team that came here last year. This is actually his fourth time at Williamsport. His brother Nate was here. In 05 and 06, is that Jeff, the manager? So they made a lot of trips here. Jeff, the manager, coaching over there at third. Nice uh, Gotta savor the moments, take all the pictures. And just remember it all. Document what you're seeing here. Oh. I think it was one of the the mothers from the Washington team who she said that the uh, local paper couldn't make it out here. So she was documenting tournaments leading up to the Little League World Series and doing the same thing for the local paper. Oh. And I'm sure she said she had thousands and thousands of pictures and that's what it's all about the experience i can only imagine the experience oh, the kids are having but what the parents are having right there with them ball, ball four and barnett will take his base so two down and a man aboard and deji ogonzola will come up to hit joey rose's mom with the souvenir home run ball got her son's home run I mean, all that stuff. You get a, a chance to keep the home run ball from when your, your son goes yard at the Little League World Series. Hey. I think the other thing as well, 
part of these games being on television, all the kids will be able to get their hands on copies of the games, and that is part of the library to document an amazing time in their lives. Michael Tiplady, pretty aggressive behind the plate, thrown to the bases. He really is. He's got such a quick release behind home plate. Gets that pitch that was up in the zone. He gets it. And snap throw over there to first base to try to pick off the runner. No ball. Two strike. looking and that's the ball game. New Jersey picks up the win, 10-0 the final. First ever meeting between these two teams and well, the final games for both sides. Great trips regardless of the overall results. And even when they shake hands, even in the 10-0 game, you're gonna see smiles on both sides and the sportsmanship what is what this is all about. The experience is not over. They'll continue to enjoy their stay at the Grove. 10-0 the final. Tom's River wins it up next on ESPN2. Canada and Panama. And we'll see it for an ESPN Ohio and Georgia. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.